One last quick question, um, and it's actually not very quick. We could spend a whole time on it, but just briefly, what would you th what would you say are the top kind of knowledge, values, and skills needed by a clinical social worker? So maybe mm -hmm. the top one in each of those. Well, I think in terms of knowledge, it's imperative have imperative to have a really solid uh, theoretical base, and that includes. Um, knowledge from a developmental perspective. I think we have to be very grounded in development. I think we have to be um, very well versed in psychopathology, understanding mental illness and the continuum of mental illness. Um, I think that we have to understand the different theoretical frameworks from psychodynamic to attachment to trauma um, to cognitive behavioral interventions, um, really depending on who's in front of you and really being able to assess that person through multiple lenses. I think that we have to really, really be aware of ourselves. And I think that's a, an additional advancement of clinical social work. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, I think as a clinical social worker, the more self-aware you are, the more competent you are in your practice. Really being able to use the issues of transference, meaning what the client brings, and then also your own counter-transference to help that person have a corrective experience in an interpersonal relationship. I think that's extraordinarily powerful, and I think that takes some clinical expertise. Yeah. Some skill. Yeah, and I think we also have to be able to um, develop interventions and treatment plans and have the ability um, to assess whether or not they're working, you know. So, not only assessment and engagement and relationship, but also, you know, is this client moving forward? Are they getting better? Is their functioning improving? And then being able to have the skills and capacity to actually. A measure those things. And then the other thing that I think is essential, you know, I started in this field in the late 80s, is just continuous um, uh, ongoing education on effective uh, practices. Right. And people sometimes don't like the language of, you know, evidence-based practices or best practices because sometimes it puts things in a container. Mm. But sometimes I make the comparison, you know, would you want to go to an oncologist that quit studying in the 80s? Right. I mean, you'd want somebody who's current in their studies. Yep. Um, certainly, I think most of us believe that the relationship and what we bring forward and that ability to engage and build rapport is probably our most valuable asset. But we still need to be able to conceptualize and be intentional about not only what the client's bringing, but what we're bringing to the working relationship. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your wisdom on clinical social work. And I hope all of you watching have learned a little bit more about clinical social work. Thank you.